People often say that I must have unusually good thrift shops locally to be able to get the things that I get. In this video, I'm going to go through the stuff that I got uh, going out and thrift shopping uh, basically six hours away, other side of the state. I uh, went to two different towns and hit a bunch of thrift shops. About four hours of thrift shopping, which uh, was mostly because the distances out here are pretty large and I went to two different towns. So I did a lot of driving. And then I hit a bunch of different thrift shops. And this is the booty. So uh, let's just go through it real quick. This is probably my favorite thing. This, I think, is a Norwegian. I need to identify the marks. Oh, try not to hit my light there with my other hand. But you can see here we have a 925S and then that symbol, which... I can look up when I have a second. Uh, but that is definitely a silver spoon. I'm not entirely sure what this one is for um, in terms of uh, serving, but uh, I, I love it. So that I think I'm gonna use for cranberries. Uh, and there's a short that I made where I found this in quite the junk store, I will tell you. Found these in a thrift shop. Uh, we will go ahead and scrap these. Um, you can see here what I paid for them. Oh, this one, too, was uh, 50 cents. These guys were $2, and you can see the marking here. These are weighted sterling, so I'm not sure how much sterling I actually got for my $4. You can see sterling reinforced with cement. So I will do a scrapping video and you can see what the cement is. Now, one of the things you can see here is that these are very uh, thrashed. I mean, these are done. These have to be scrapped anyways. Oh, and if my hands seem a little beat up, I also went out agate hunting in the Yellowstone. If that's anything that interests anyone, I can uh, post the agates that I got. So we got two of these. Paid $4 for those. We'll have a follow-up video where we finish the destruction process and we figure out just how much silver is in our weighted candlesticks. All right, what else do we got here? So I just grab anything that um, catches my eye. I like this one. I usually wouldn't pay four bucks necessarily for something unless I liked it. Uh, if it's more than more than a buck, I'm usually not uh, not just grabbing it. In this case, though, this is a cool. You can see here sterling. I'm not sure what that means. These um, types of pins, I think I see frequently related to Germany. Um, and obviously it's a, it's a mountaineering pin with your, uh, I think, ice axe here uh, and your rope. And this particular one is probably the nicest one I've ever seen. I really, I really think this pin is awesome. Uh, so that I spent four bucks on. Okay, this I spent three dollars on. And we will have to visit the magic machine to, to see what it's made out of. But I wanted to do a video on it because, and talk about it specifically, because this is the kind of thing that I often find turns out to be gold. I think this one might be silver. But the things that I look for when I'm out and about looking at weird rings, you can see here you've got like some little pitting holes there. And the metal for this is all the same metal. And you can also see on the back here, uh, let's see if I can show you, like right here, where it doesn't really meet up exactly. This type of thing I find locally and, and a little further flung is often uh, jewelry that's made by students or jewelry that's homemade. And it's usually at least silver, so it's usually yeah, worth a try. But this has a bit of a tone to it, and it's not um, it's not tarnished. So I'm wondering if this is white gold or, or uh, just silver. It might just be polished silver, but we will find out on that one a little bit later. Okay, what else we got here? Shall we empty this bag out? I hit... Oh, shoot, I hit like five... Uh, thrift shops and a few antique shops, six, six thrift shops. Um, this is, I believe, 
going to turn out to be gold. Certainly the FCB in the middle is gold. This is probably gold fill, but I'm not certain. This was a cufflink, and it's just one. And this was the prize out of this bag, this $2 bag of miscellaneous bric-a-brac. But I got it for this because I think there's probably at least a bit of gold in that puppy right there. And I think this is a Freemason. I'm not sure what FBC stands for, but uh, maybe somebody can tell me. I grabbed this because it is gold fill, which we may be able to see on my camera, might not be able to. Let's zoom in and find out. It's not on that side. There we are. There's our gold fill mark right there. 1 20th, 12 karat gold fill. And uh, I just uh, like to toss that into my gold fill bag. Uh, my goal is to get uh, enough gold fill that I can send it off to get re refined. Most people won't refine gold fill until you have quite a lot of it. Let's see what else. Uh, this little puppy, this little pin, and this little pin, these were each, oops, these were each a dollar uh, at a thrift shop, and both of them are unmarked. Uh, this one on the right is definitely a, uh, uh, what, Alpha Phi? I'm, I'm not so good with my Greek letters. And this, uh, this is probably silver. Uh, I just liked it, so I grabbed it. This guy is an interesting one, and I've got more of these, and they say different things on them, and I don't know what they mean exactly. They are unmarked. But if you look in the edges, you've got some high edge wear there, but you can't see any copper or brass shining through. Uh, you see that? It's got that shine to it. It's not like super nice on the back, but uh, I have confirmed that these, whatever they are, and I'll, I'll try to do a little research, are 10 karat. Um, and I've, I think this is the third one that I found. And all of them turn out to be 10 karat gold. So for a dollar at an antique shop, I thought that was worth grabbing. This guy is interesting. He may just be brass or it might be gold. We will find out. It is completely unmarked and it is very dirty, yet it's still weirdly shiny, uh, which for me is worth the gamble to see if it actually does turn out to be gold because I have the uh, dragon sickness and anything that is gold I want to possess see what else we got. Got stuff in this little baggie. All right, so this guy was 250 and again, looks really dang good, but we flip her over and you can see it is 110, 10 karat. So this is a gold fill piece, uh, but it definitely, gold fill has a surprisingly large gold content in it. So that goes into my, my gold fill box. Although it might actually be worth more uh, as a 10 year pendant for, um, I think it's for Bell, uh, the uh, phone company. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, these. So these earrings are trash. And that backing is trash. The other one though, in fact, that goes away. I'll put that over there. The other one, though, is just my little, my little particular craziness. That little back right there is 14 karat gold. So off you come. You go into the gold hoard as the teeny tiniest little dab of gold. But I still love you because you're gold. All right. Last potentially interesting thing. These, I believe, are cufflinks. Um, and I think they I think they come apart here like this. You press on this, and then they, yep, and then they pop apart. And I think they're probably just gold fill. Um, Pittman. But I think these are just really cool. Let's see what it says here. Does it say anything that matters? Oh, yep, yep, there you go, right there. One 20th, 12K, gold fill. So those are gonna probably go into my uh, gold fill pile so that I can get up enough to uh, 
to have it refined. Now the rest of this is mostly trash, um, but interestingly, it was a $2 bag and it was in an antique store. And obviously I got this piece out, which we can, uh, if you guys are interested, maybe I'll try to wreck that. We'll see if this is gold fill or actually like carrot gold, or, or at least parts of it are carrot gold. Um, but this is definitely a gold fill piece and uh, it's worth worth grabbing. Uh, you can see the uh, the high edge wear, see right right through there, where it's worn through the, uh, the carrot gold that's on the surface. So we'll toss that into our gold fill pile. And then I don't know what else is in here. That looks like that was part of a, some glasses. I don't know, that, ooh. That dude's kinda scary. Looks like it's, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. We've got some uh, glass earrings. We've got some beads. I haven't actually looked through all of this, to be honest. Uh, some clip-ons. Yep, looks like an old rosary in there. Yep. What else we got? Anything cool? We've got a little uh, elephant. Just looks like it's it's nothing. Um, have a, a pin. Uh, this would be paste or rhinestones. We got a stone missing there. Uh, somebody's been doing things with copper, looks like. Kind of interesting. Uh, there we have a, a cufflink. Um, swank, which made this. Uh, I have not found any gold swank. Now, that's not to say they didn't make it. Uh, I'm just unaware of it. I know they did make sterling on occasion, but you find swank all the time, and it's it's almost pretty much always not uh, not a precious metal. There's some little marcasites in a little little piece of something that looks pretty silvery. I don't know. I'll set that aside. Every little bit counts. What else we got here? More of these sort of gold beads. Hey, look, plastic. Two new pence. Beads, beads. Can I pour it out? You guys can all have a look at it with me. More of these. There's a uh, tie bar. This one might be gold fill. What do we think here? Patent. I don't think so. I think this guy's just plate. You can see all that high edge wear showing you that it's plate. Um, hmm, what do we got here? Pearl. Looks like trash. Is it? What do we think? It does not look good to me. If these are good, one of the things you'll see is you'll see writing on the on there and I'm not seeing any writing and I'm seeing where it looks like the gold plate is rubbing off. So that one, that one we will examine later. Um, oh, look at all that, pl all that, uh, all that glue right there. That's a tell, that's, that's trash. And I think the rest of this is mostly trash, although this piece is kind of interesting. This looks, at a glance, better than your average little piece of trash. We will bring that to the magic machine and see what's going on there. Maybe 10 carat, uh, maybe nothing. Looks like it maybe came off of some Victorian jewelry at some point, but you know, every little bit counts. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I was gone and not uploading videos. I had to bring my wife to a, uh, a little get together for her work. And uh, we enjoyed driving across Montana um, and I enjoyed hitting the thrift shops. Hopefully you also enjoy seeing thrift shop treasure. I hope you're having a great day.